Attending relevant in-person events is a game changer and separates the ones doing amazing work from the wannabes. Now is the time to get planning for 2025 events schedule. Hi, I'm Joe Polizzi and find out more in episode 464 of the Content Inc. podcast. You know, sometimes we forget about the power of in-person events. Last week, I had the pleasure of attending the Marketing AI Conference put on by my friends Paul Ratzer and Kathy McPhillips. I say attend because I rarely just attend events that I don't speak at. But this was glorious. I actually went to different sessions and talked to people throughout the event. The opening night reception was at Pickwick and Frolic Hilarities Comedy Club on East 4th in Cleveland, my favorite gathering place on the planet. My wife and I got there about 15 minutes after the start. We walked in and we headed downstairs to their beautiful martini room. Seriously, it's one of a kind. There I spent the next hour and a half literally in the same spot. Brian Piper, Pamela Muldoon, Michael Stelzner, Paul and Kathy, J.K. Kalinowski. I talked to all of them. I saw people I haven't seen in 10 years. I ran into folks from Spain, Mexico, other parts of Europe. It was great just catching up. I felt so good after seeing all these people. And I had no real business objective, but just to meet and talk with people. But these types of events bring about incredible business opportunities. A number of people asked me about till publishing and how to get their books published. I received not one, not two, but three speaking inquiries. Another person asked if I could teach a course for their MBA program. A few other people had no idea that this podcast actually existed. They only knew about this old marketing. So now they do. And that was just in the first three hours. The next day, I caught Paul's opening keynote, so eye-opening. Then I sat down for Andy Crestadina's presentation on content marketing and SEO, worth the price of admission right there. I took notes without a phone, iPad, or computer in front of me. I just took it in. I made some notes in my Lulu handbook and had thoughts that will help me develop presentations, podcasts, articles, and more over the next many months, if not years. And the motivation. I came out of that meeting excited about creating content. As you know, content creation can get lonely at times. At the end of the day, you and probably only you need to create this stuff and make it meaningful for your audience. Events can be a real kick in the butt to move you in the right direction. Now, you probably aren't thinking about this yet, but you should have at least one event per quarter in mind next year to attend. If you're an author, maybe Author Nation in the fall, or Social Media Marketing World in the spring, or CEX, which will be in August next year. Now, whatever you decide, make your plans and set your budgets now. The most successful content creators I know, the real, real content entrepreneurs, Make it a point to get to events on a regular basis, speaking or not. Now, to be honest, I've really been slacking in this area. I'm glad I'm back at it today. This is Joe Polizzi. Remember, success in content comes from consistency, creativity, and community. Keep creating, keep connecting, and we'll see you next Monday. Stay inspired. <music>